What's up guys, Henry Hopkin here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to import your Rust model into Unreal Engine. So first off, you're going to open up Epic Games, then open up Unreal Engine. Then you're going to choose either, it doesn't matter really what you choose, but I prefer choosing film and video, and then I put on ray tracing, and then just choose blank, and I don't know, name it something, Rust video, all right. In the meantime, we can uh, go find an asset. So open up Asset Studio. I'm going to just go briefly over it. And if you don't know how to do this, you can watch one of my previous videos. That's linked in the description. And we're done with that. All right. So uh, open on, open up Unreal Engine. Go to Content Drawer. And here you have all your folders pretty much. Right. So go into Content. Make a new folder called Rust. And then drag all the files you just got into that folder. Boom. And, ch uh, and check the scale to 100 since there, there's a small difference when importing and exporting stuff. So put it to 100 and just click import all. Boom. It should do actually the most of the texturing itself as well, which is really nice. And uh, it should come out looking like this, which is already really good, right? Uh, what we can do with this is just change it a little bit. What the only thing I'd really change, right, is the normal maps here. Uh, I'll, sh I'll put an example on screen, but usually the normal maps look a bit too high level, I guess. What I would do is add a flatten node and a parameter node. For some reason, this fixes the issue. I saw this in a comment in uh, some kind of video. So this is what I do, and it looks so much better. Also, if you're starting off on Unreal, I really recommend you learn the basics of Blender since you need the uh, skills of both applications to work on Unreal. And I also recommend watching this video. I put a link in the description. This really helped me get into Unreal Engine just like the donut tutorial did. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.